and girls and everyone in between. So today's video is going to be a fitness and loungewear clothing haul. I haven't done a haul in probably a couple months I would say so I figured it was about time to show y'all what I've been purchasing in the last month or two. So this is obviously a collective haul. Um, this is not going to be a try on haul just because it's that time of the month and I'm not really super comfortable with exposing everything. <laughs> um, if I have photos of me in any of the outfits, I will be sure to insert them. Um, if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them below, and I hope y'all enjoy the haul. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so to start this haul off, we're going to be working from left to right. Um, first, I guess we can show you the one pair of shoes that I got. These have been featured on my Instagram. They were in my monthly favorites, but these are just some Reebok. Um, they're considered dance shoes, I guess, but I picked these up because I needed a new pair of workout shoes. The Under Armour ones I had were getting pretty worn out and old and now we'll just move on to everything else like clothing wise. So I have a couple sweaters, um, I have some t-shirts, workout tops, shorts, sports bras, all that fun stuff. So let's get in. So the first sweatshirt I have, this is actually thrifted. Um, if I can remember where I got everything I will leave the store down below and also the price as well. But this is just a diamond supply in co. Um, I don't know what type of sweatshirt this is called, I guess just a regular one. It doesn't have like a hood or anything like that, but I figured this would be good for lounging and relaxing in. The next one is just a plain black, black, a plain gray, uh, same style sweatshirt from H&M from their Divided line. This is a size large. And then I also got this hot pink one. This is also thrifted. It just looks like this. Hot pink isn't normally my color or pink for that matter is normally my color, but I kind of just want to branch out. I have a look in mind for this. This is a size large. I also got this workout top. This is from Champion. It's a loose fit one. It's a size small. Champion is a Target brand from what I'm aware of. And it just looks like this. I like this loose fit around the neck. I don't know why I don't have anything else like this, but I don't know, just something different, and I really like it for the more cooler days. This is a Nike dry fit running top, jacket, sweater, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it is in a size medium. This is pretty baggy on me, but I like it. And I don't know, I just I just need some new workout clothes. This next item I have transitioning into the long sleeve tops is this Victoria's Secret pink size small. Um, shirts, this kind of reminds me of long johns or long underwear, I don't know what people call them, but you usually normally wear them in like the winter or the fall, but I don't know, I just really like this, super comfy and casual. This is a Nike Pro, um, size small workout top, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of like deodorant right here, I don't know why, because I haven't worn it since I washed it, but it just looks like this. And then I also have a Nike running dry fit um, top in a size small. It's this beautiful, like, corally color, and I like the detailing. It has, like, the lighter coral mixed with, like, the darker one. Now moving on to, I guess, t-shirts. Um, this is just an NFL t-shirt. It's a size medium. It's Pittsburgh Steelers, and they are my absolute favorite football team. And then I have a t-shirt that just says Beast Mode. This is a men's size small. I actually picked my boyfriend up the exact same shirt in a size large just so uh, we can wear them together. I thought that would be kind of cute. And my whole goal behind this specific shirt was to turn it into a cutoff. So after this video, that's what I'm going to do. And then I have this shirt. This is like the softest t-shirt ever. Like, I, softest material ever. It just says up all night, sleep all day. It's pretty much true because right now it's like 11.30 at night and I'm awake filming and I'm probably going to be awake until like 5. And then I'll sleep during the day. <laughs> this is another shirt. It just says weakness is a choice on the front of it. And the back says I choose strength. This is a size, I want to say medium in men's. And it's pretty big on me but once again I like that bigger fit for when I'm working out. This shirt just says hump day and this is for when I do legs or on Wednesdays because Wednesdays like hump day um, and I'm also going to turn this shirt into a cutoff as well most t-shirts I buy actually turn into cutoffs like this one right here um, the front just says dry campus and the back says 
uh, my ass, America's number one party school. I have no idea what school this was gotten at or given, received at, but I don't know, I just liked it. I think it's kind of humorous. And then I have a crop top that says, Just Dream. And lately I've been getting more into crop tops since my abs are starting to show more. I'm pretty proud of them. Kind of want to show them off a little bit more. And then I have some workout, like, tank top type pieces. Um, this is more of a loungewear, but it's just this Victoria's Secret pink tank top. And it says pink on the front with some animal print detailing. And then the back is completely and totally animal print. It was bought with the sleeves already missing, so I like it. I think this was featured in my monthly favorites, so I will link that below if you want to check it out. This is a Nike Dry Fits top size small, and it says, just do it on the front with a light gray and dark gray font, and then the back is completely, totally dark gray. Next I have this old navy brand um, semi-fitted running top. I call these running tops. I don't know what else you would call them. Workout tops, I guess, but it's just a heathered medium gray color with some lime green detailing. And this is actually a more looser jersey fit material than this. This is a little bit thicker, I feel like. And I also got another old navy brand workout top. They have the matching shorts, which I actually got, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is a small, and it's just a white and gray speckled shirt on the front. And then the back is gray as well. And then it has this part right here, which is super nice, very breathable, and very lightweight. This top also had the matching shorts, but I didn't pick them up just because I wasn't a huge fan of how they fit on me. This one is in an extra small, and it's pretty much the same design, just with blues, and the back is the same as well, with this more loose fit material at the bottom. And then I got one plain tank top. It's just an orange, stretchy tank top. Alright, so moving on to sports bras, I've actually picked up quite a few in the past couple weeks. Um, this one actually has a three on it. These are just some Crunch brand sports bras and I will take this one off real quick to show you. A coral colored one right here and the back just says crunch in gray and then this is like a really stretchy kind of like mesh material. I also got a black one this same material on the back and it says crunch in a coral color and then I also got a blue one same material and the back says crunch in a blue color. The sports bra I have is a Reebok um, sports bra. This was featured in my monthly favorites as well. It's just a beautiful light peachy color um, with gray detailing. It's not reversible but I do like that touch. This next sports bra is a Champion brand sports bra and it is just this dark pink on the front and then light pink um, jersey type of material on the back which is nice. It's very breathable with this little cut out detailing right here. And then these last two sports bras I got are also champion ones, but they're not from that same line. Um, the first one, it just looks like this. It is a black and white tie-dye print sports bra. These ones are a little bit more tight, a little more fitted, a little more stretchy too. And the other one I have is this blue gradient sports bra. Same material. I did get two pairs of sweatpants within the last, you know, month or so. The first ones are just these right here, and they say Indiana down the side, which is for Indiana University here. Um, I'm not really big in college sports, but I had to grab these because I like that, and they're super comfortable, and in my opinion, you can never have too many pairs of sweatpants. The other pair I got just look like this. These are a bit more of a lighter um, material, so I could probably get away with wearing these as it's transitioning into the cooler month of August, but they're just like a deep maroony red color with white stripes and a drawstring. And the last category of workout clothing I have to show you guys is shorts. I did get quite a few pairs of shorts just because I didn't really have any. I had like three pairs I think and it's just it's a pain in the butt to wash the same three pairs over and over again. So That gray top, these are the matching shorts. They do have this inner material so I guess you wouldn't have to wear underwear with it but I always cut that out. I also got these um, ASIC spandex shorts. I got these in a size medium just because the small was a little too tight around my glutes and my um, thighs or my quads. Um, so just got a medium. The next pair is a pair of gray Adidas ones. They have just the Adidas logo right here in blue and they also have it on the inside on the inner band as well but I don't wear that flipped over or anything. I also got another pair of Adidas shorts again in a dark gray color. This material is a little bit different. It's not as 
Tie is restricting as the last pair, and it has Adidas in purple here with three stripes down the side. And these are just really comfortable and soft. Super soft. The next four pairs of shorts I have are all by Reebok. So the first pair are just these plain basic black ones right here with Reebok down the side. They have a pretty thick band around the top, so it's always nice. And the back just says play dry. The next three pairs of Reebok shorts are all part of their same line. It is the slim fit line. So the first pair just look like this. They are all gray and white and black. Um, these are pretty high-waisted, but the nice thing is they have this little pocket right here. So I can put my phone in there when I'm lifted. And then I also picked up this white and black and gray pair as well. Same line, and it also has that pocket right there. All of my shorts I got in a size small, with the exception of that one um, red pair. And the last pair I got from Reebok are just these blue and green and gray multicolor ones. And the very last pair of shorts I have to show you are from Puma. I actually picked these up today. Um, I had never seen these before, this like style or anything where I work, so I picked them up. And they are just um, plain basic shorts, I guess. And they have like this peachy coral and gray texture and pattern on it, so that's pretty nice. And they also have this double band right here. I'm not entirely sure why or what it's for, but they're really comfy. So that's everything I have to show y'all for this fitness and loungewear clothing haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my other videos as well as give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!